Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make a card, but I want to make it look like I make an art journal page. <laughs> Whoa, that was a mouthful. Um, so actually I want to make an art journal page, but uh, on a card, card sized. So uh, I've got a paper and I've got a spare one. <laughs> this is, uh, my cards are normally 10 and a half by 15 centimeters. So this is nine and a half by 14 centimeters. So, I'm going to work on this and I took my favorite stamps, this is one of my favorite stamps and I love these two, passion and art, they're oldies. <laughs> and um, I thought I'd use some acrylic paints, this is Amsterdam paint and some dilution paints and maybe some stencils. So um, let's just make some room first, let's hope that doesn't fall. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to start with, I think, some of this. Oh, I have an idea. I'm going to emboss this so I can use a resist technique. So I need a piece of paper and uh, <laughs> my daughter will love this. <laughs> uh, this is what she has to read for her university and I, I printed out books by now. <laughs> but uh, these went wrong so uh, I use it for my crafts. Uh, so I'm gonna use, I'm not even sure if I need it. Oh well. <laughs> so I also need Versamark ink. And um, I also always use this when I emboss so I can put it back. But this is a huge container, I don't think I need this. But oh well. To stamp on. Okay, let's just get started. So... I want this part over here and a bit of this over here. <laughs> so that's where my container comes in. Just let it drop over my page. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see it, but so. And now I can put it away. I, I really love this, guys. I used to work with these little bottles or jars, and I still do with other colors, but the clear embossing powder I use so much that this is so handy. I can't tip it over. Well, I can. I did. But <laughs> you usually can't tip this over. Okay, so now I need my heat tool. Got it ready. Here we go. Okay. See if I have everything. Yes. Well, it's not completely white. <laughs> you see a little bit of black in here. I don't think I cleaned it very well last time, but that's okay. So now it's a bit shimmery. So now what I want to do is go over this with some color. So I think I'm going to use this one. I think these are too dark. I want something light. Let's see if you can mix these. Um, I'm just gonna do that on here. Wait a minute. I'll just take a palette knife. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is what happens with your Distress Ink. Distress Ink, your Dilutions Paint. Because the jar is so big, there's lots of air in here and it just completely dried out. <coughs> okay. Do you have that too? I can understand that it will dry in a while, but I've had these for two years maybe well probably longer and this one the ones that are a bit fluid I put water in now but oh come on they're all like this oh this one is better so I can I don't want this <laughs> I can spritz some water in here and uh, well This is not working out the way I want it to. What I wanted to do is put some white on here and a bit of this and mix it up a little. So I can try to do that with some ordinary... Uh, wait, I have to clean this first. <laughs> Acrylic paint. And this one. I hope that this one is still okay. It's my favorite color. Oh, come on. It's completely dried out. Is there a way to fix this? Do you know a way to fix this? Or do I just have to throw them out and buy new ones every two years? That's a bit expensive. 
Oh well. <sighs> I don't want to see this one then. This one is okay, I think. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Well, then I'm just going to use acrylic paints. I wanted to use these, but... <laughs> Wait, I can try something. Uh, I need a baby wipe. I've got these nice frozen ones. Let's see if it still does something. Well, just a little. Oh, lots of paint under my nail. <laughs> this is not exactly what I hoped, but it has a nice. It's, it looks nice. I think. <laughs> okay, let's try the blue one. a lot of water on there. Oh, okay. This one is really fluid. <laughs> this is a real nice video, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, this is what I wanted, but with uh, different colors. Okay. Let's put some more water in here. Okay, close it up. So again guys, if any of you know how to uh, revive these ones, I've got the... Of course everyone knows by now that the pink one is really awful. This can't be saved. <laughs> Can this be saved? I don't think so. And I hope the new ones are better because I really love working with this stuff, but... These are three I can throw away. And I think I have more of them. I think all the old colors I can throw away and the new ones are okay. Oh well. Um, right, well then let's just use some acrylic paint. Uh, I want a bit of pink in here. And I'm just going to do that with my finger. <laughs> this is going to be one of those videos. Oh, I thought I had no more pink left. <laughs> These look like they're full, but this one is actually empty and uh, I think I'm gonna put a bit of white over everything no I want to do that with uh, with my stencils now let's just start with this <laughs> so I'm just rubbing it over the cart. I have no idea if I like it yet, but I'd better because this is my cart and this is what I have to work with. Oh well, it's okay. Maybe I'll just do a little wash over it with white. But I like the fact that it's purple where I go over the blue, of course, and where I had some white that it's really pink. Oh, this is okay. You know what, I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay, I think this is okay. So I'm gonna clean this all. Okay, my camera just stopped filming so uh, I don't know what I said last but I think I want um, I need something on here the duh I need something on here but let's just see um, I thought I could use some um, or one butterfly or that's not a butterfly that's a dog <laughs> some oh this one is nice a little cat or this one you know, something with the same color in it. Oh, this one is cute. Christmas. But that's not a Christmas card. Um, let's just see. Oh, this one. What's this? Oh, putty kits. 
this doesn't belong in here. Ah, uh, well, I think that's that's it. I've got some butterflies. Mm. Well, <laughs> oh, the, oh, that one is nice as well. Let's let's see. Uh, <laughs> this one is. Oh, which one do I like best? I like the the giraffe actually, but this one is really cute as well. I think I'm gonna go for this one, but I want to use this one pretty soon. <laughs> it's really nice. Okay, so the little cat. Right. Uh, you know, again, don't overthink. Just, just do it. So I'm just gonna glue this one to my card. to the edges a little uh, over here bam it's decided <laughs> okay so now I've got a little kitty so what I want next is maybe some stamps so I've got art and I've got passion I don't know what that has to do with a cat but oh well you can have passion for cats <laughs> um Let's just see. Uh, <laughs> I'm still thinking too much. Let's just get some ink. Uh, I hope this will work. Well, we'll find out. I'm gonna go for art. And I'm gonna stamp it on the piece of paper first. Okay. Um, nice this is a real old one it's from Hampton art 2002 nah can't be 2002 yes it is okay that's an oldie so uh, that's okay I'm gonna leave it like that then I need some stencils stencils what do I want hmm that's a good one what do I want I think I want or dots. <laughs> I love dots, of course, or maybe some like this. Uh, what's this called? Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. But uh, this maybe. But maybe I can use it as a stamp. Hmm. Right. I've got this and this. Maybe that's enough. Maybe I do have this as a stencil. Let's just see different dots. Yes, I do. So, here I go, doubting, thinking again, what shall I do? <laughs> um, I'm going to do this first. I need a pen. And I'm just gonna draw some circles. love doing this. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so circles and then I'm going to use this stamp. It's not been used before. Um, oh, it really has not been used before. They can be so difficult to get off the sheet the first time. Be careful not to break them. Okay. What color shall I use? I'm going to use... I have no idea what am I going to use. I'm just gonna get uh, this. Island Indigo, of course. One of my favorite colors. So. And I'm not gonna try it out first. Ooh, whoa, I should have. <laughs> oh, that's dark. <laughs> I didn't want that. Okay. 
dark it is. That's not what I had in mind, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, I should not have said that. I'm not gonna try it out first. One. <laughs> so you should always try it out first. Or not, and then you have something you really don't want, but you have to fix it. And that's a challenge. Oh, guys, I have paint everywhere. Just a, just a little second. Uh, how did I get paint everywhere? Okay, there was paint everywhere, but luckily it's not on my clothes. <laughs> Our desk is blue. Oh, I think it was this paint. It wasn't dry yet. Ha! <laughs> that wasn't clever. Okay, let's go on. So I have this. I need to really make sure that this one is dry. So maybe I can dab some of the ink off. Well, some of it. Well. That's a bit better. Okay. So now I'm going to go over it with... Notice how I make a mess as I work. It gets messier and messier. Messier and messier, is that a word? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, now I'm going to take this. And I want some gesso, I think. Yes, I'm going to get myself some gesso. Okay, guys, it's one of those days. Can you believe it? My gesso is dried out too. <laughs> so I have to get some new one. <clears throat> okay, I can handle that. So I'm going to use paint. And I want some black paint, but I'm afraid to get my dilution paint out. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on with this. Yeah, so the black dilution paint is also ready to be thrown away. <laughs> I keep laughing, but actually this is very sad. What a video! <laughs> okay, okay. Something else then. Let's see if I have some black paint. I do have really dark. Oh, what is this? Purple, really dark purple. Do I have black? Well, that would be too easy, would it, if I had black? Ha! Huh, but I do. <laughs> okay. Don't give up, just continue. Uh, I actually kind of like this now. So, um... Hmm... Question is, do I want to go over it with something a little wash? Let's just say. Let's see what this is. Really bluish grey. What, what color is this? Guys, blau. Blue. <laughs> grey is blue. Okay. Well, I wasn't far, far off. I've got some water and my fingers. Doesn't do much, but maybe just tone it down a little. Some more water. You know what? I'm gonna take a brush, that'll be better. Really large one. Lots of water. I'm just gonna go over it. Okay, and then dry it. So I'm happy that I did this. You don't really see that I put uh, grayish blue or bluish gray over this, but everything just is one. Um, I want to say one geheel, which is Dutch. Uh, one, it's one now. <laughs> I 
is that how you say it? Uh, you know, it just all blends together a bit more. It's not just this stamp and that stamp, it's just a bit more one. Just, just, let's say one. Okay, now I am going to put something, some of this over here with a stencil. So I wanted to use gesso to have a little bit more of structure, but, uh, well, apparently I don't have gesso anymore at the moment. So I'm just gonna go over these ones a little bit, see if they will line up. I'm not sure if that works with paint. <laughs> oh well. Yes, it does. Just have patience. more difficult but it does work okay there I take it off <laughs> <laughs> of course that doesn't work it's not just how it's paint it's fluid it just ran under uh, my stencil right well nice okay this is the video full of challenges. <sighs> okay. Now that was nice. I should have done that. <laughs> should I just try and get it off? Oh boy. <laughs> wow. How did I do that? I managed to get a reverse print. That's a real special technique and I couldn't do it again if I wanted to. But actually uh, it's okay. So now I'm going to try to put a little bit of that over here. Wow, it's amazing. <sighs> but that wasn't really a bad idea. Oh guys, there's paint everywhere. Let's do that again. This time for real. So, I've got a little bit. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Never tried it before with a tissue. Of course it goes under the stencil a bit as well, but I really like this. Okay, so now what do I do? Put this somewhere safe so I can clean it later on. <laughs> and um, I'll just go over it a bit with, with my tissue. Make a little border. So this is a way I never made a little edge, a little border before. <laughs> but that's the first time for everything. And actually, it's not that bad. Oh, now I've got way too much paint. Uh, I'm just gonna take some time to clean everything <laughs> otherwise I get really nice effects on stuff that I don't want the really nice effect on like my clothes or so I'll be right back so now I want some just oh yeah what do I want <laughs> I think some dots so I can do this but I think that's too much and I you know I don't really have a stamp with just just a dot so I have to be on the lookout for that just stamp with dots in different sizes. I do have them, but they're, they're circles, so these are dots. And I'm not sure if I can do that the way I want it. Well, let's try it. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna go for this one. I just want some... Well, 
what do you do if you only want a few dots? You take a marker. A memento marker. And you just cover a few dots. Hope this will work. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, and this one. I have no idea where they are. <laughs> dots. That's what I wanted. Just a few dots. So I need to clean this because I have no idea which ones I used. And um, do I want some more? Of course I do. I always want more dots. So now I'm just gonna do a few like this, just these three and this one, which is half a dot. <laughs> I like it. So now a little dot. I'll do this side to be sure. So I do have dots, but still I want some stamps that are uh, dots in different sizes. I can't believe I don't have those. Okay, I like this. That's enough. No more. <coughs> so look guys, I've got lots and lots of layers. And I really, really like it. So now I need to figure out uh, what kind of paper to use. And when I cleaned up, I got some different papers. I can use silver. Whoa, no, that's wait. I thought it would be nice, but that's just too much. Or just white. I wanted to use white. That's That was my palette plan. Mm, it's nice, but I also found this. And it's really dark, but I I think I kind of like it. Let's just see. Let's just fold it in half. This is paper that I've had for I think 10 years, maybe longer, and it's uh, it's got little little thingies in here. Oh well, you won't see that because this is gonna go over it. Hmm. Yes, I like that, and I don't even think I'm gonna do something else with it. So I'm just gonna glue this on with double-sided tape. But of course, it was going so well for a while, but now my battery's flashing, so I have to change the battery. <laughs> it was going too well, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm back again, guys, and I use my really strong tape because... Uh, <laughs> this is really fun stuff. Um, because it wants to curl and uh, if I use the cheaper st stuff it just lets it's gonna let loose in a few uh, few weeks but this stuff is very strong but how to get this off your hands <laughs> that's a challenge <laughs> let's see if I can okay one two I did it oh okay so let's glue this on Hopefully in the middle, because it's curled up so much I really can't see. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's a bit dark, but I like that. Um, but it needs something. Of course, it always needs something. Um, some beads or buttons. These are nice, but I, then I should have put them on before. Oh, this button is nice. And this one. <laughs> mm, this one. Or a little black one. Well, I don't think I'm gonna look any further because I really like this. <laughs> now I have to figure out where to put them and how to put them on here. I think I'm just gonna glue them on. So I hope this is strong enough. Uh, like this? Or is this one too big? I really like the color, but it's it's kind of chunky. Here I go again. Th these decisions are so difficult for me. And you should just... If I was here with my friend Mario, she just glue them on somewhere and it would be awesome. And I'm just thinking, what shall I do? What shall I do? 
You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Uh, I hope this is strong enough. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> do I like it? The question is, do I like it? Well, I'd better. It's glued on here now. If I take it off, the, the paper will tear. So, uh, yes, I like it. So now the final question is, do I put some of this beaded stuff? Do I have some? Oh, look, I have some over here. I really love to work with this. Oh, I love that. And uh, this is green, but do I have purple? Oh, I love this. I want them all, all three of them, but I'm not sure if that's going to be too much. That's going to be too much. You know what? I'm going to go for the darker ones. Okay. Let's get a bit of both and then just open the card. Put it in. And see if I can manage to tie a knot with this stuff. I'm not sure if that's possible actually. I've used it before. Because these are little beads all uh, sewn up together. You say it like that? I don't know. I need a finger, an extra finger, but there's no one home. Not even a kitty cat. Anyone? <laughs> Should I call a neighbor? <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll use this finger. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at this stuff. Okay, yeah, let's see. <laughs> it's not really working the way I want it to work, but actually it's kind of fun, this huge, huge knot over here. I just hope it'll stay and not, well, it does not, I think. No, it does. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm just gonna cut this off. Here we go. And this as well. <laughs> See the little beads going everywhere. And uh, <laughs> I like it. Okay. Well, I think, guys, this, it, I think it stays on. I actually think it's finished. Ta-da! <laughs> and uh, I'm going to leave it like this on the inside so you can write with a, a white gel pen or something like that. I kind of like it. Look at all these beads. Okay. So this is my art journal page card. Look at all the layers, guys. I love this. And as you, you saw me do this and everything went wrong. Uh, the background was not the way I wanted to. Over here it was not the way I wanted to. But I ended up with a, a reverse stencil. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. And uh, I love the little circles and dots and all the layers of stuff that I didn't like when I put it on but when it's finished all those layers yeah I really love it so and I do like these beads on this side anyways um I hope you like this video I hope you like my card it was just something to try out because I have never made an art journal card before because it is like an art journal page but I put it on a card and I really like it uh, there are lots of people who are going to like a card like this. It's totally different from what I made last week. Do I still have them over here? You know, a card like this, which is awesome. But look at this. It's so difficult. Difficult. So different. It's not difficult at all. So guys, if things don't work out the way you want them, just keep going. Just try to fix it. And in the end, it usually turns out okay. And if it doesn't, well, there's always a spare piece of paper and just start over again. But this one turned out really well and I love it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about them, uh, about them, about the card. <laughs> um, I like it. I need to try this more often. I say that about most of the cards that I make, but um, this is really nice. Art journaling on a little card. So anyways, if you love the video, I would love a thumbs up, of course. And if you're not already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah, happy with this. So I'll see you next time. Groetjes from Holland. Bye.